And the University of Dayton is shining a spotlight on mental health. The UD Flyers will play an exhibition game against Ohio State on Sunday as part of a town hall to remember and honor UD head coach Anthony Grant's daughter, Jada. Jada died last year after struggling with her mental health. Gwyneth Falloon is outside UD Arena tonight. And Gwen, what can you tell us about the town hall? Elise, a weekend full of events kicked off tonight with a panel and discussion before the Flyers take the court on Sunday in that charity exhibition game. Now, everyone who spoke tonight had the same message that it's okay to not be okay. Our hope is that we can bring some purpose to the pain that my family is going through right now. University of Dayton men's basketball head coach Anthony Grant sharing his and his daughter Jada's story Thursday. Unfortunately for us, we weren't able to get the help in time for our daughter. In May of 2022, Jada died after struggling with her mental health, an outcome that affects Anthony's team and the entire UD community. To us, we're extended family, you know what I mean? So. When, when something happens to him, it happens to all of us. And one the Grant family is hoping to change for others. It could change the outcome for someone one of you cares about. Maybe for somebody in the audience that needs to hear the words. The Grant family in partnership with UD holding a town hall Thursday to shine a light on mental health and the resources available in the community. We had told him from the beginning that if he ever wanted the full force and might of the University of Dayton and the community behind him just to let us know. And, you know, everyone takes amount of time to do that. And, uh, you know, earlier this late spring, he said he thought now was the time. Local organizations, schools, state departments, and even national foundations like Holinsky's Hope gathered Thursday for a resource fair, presentation, and panel discussion. What we really want people to take away from tonight is it's okay to talk about it. Everybody, on some level, is struggling with a mental health issue. That includes UD's players themselves, who were some of the many faces of Thursday's town hall, greeting and uplifting guests and fans. There's been times, you know, where mental health has impacted me, um, especially after a tough game. But the best way to deal with adversity like that is to just look at the positives. Even if it's something very little, you know, like saying, hey, you guys look good today. Um, I like the way you're being happy, like that, any, anything like that, you know, so th those little things can take somebody a long way. Now, tonight's town hall is just the start again of the weekend. On Sunday, the Flyers will take on the Ohio State Buckeyes in a charity exhibition game. The money raised from that will go back into local mental health organizations. But if you or someone you know is struggling, there are resources available. Montgomery County Adamus Board has a crisis line you can call. That number is 833 580 call and then the national suicide and crisis lifeline is also available just call or text 988 back to you